All right. Hey, everybody. It is I, Little Killer TV. All right. So, um, in this video, we're going to go over how to do multi instance re rolling for overhead. So, uh, for those of you that are wondering, if you open multiple instances, so let's just say you use Blue Stacks, LD Player, Knox, any of them. If you try to do a multi instance that has a Google ID signed in, you start the game, you go to start another one, it's going to link the first one to all the other instances that you have. So, as you see here, I got multiple instances going. They are three separate accounts. I go here to play, I click. And, you know, I can add characters and they're all separate because if they were linked, they would have all shown the exact same image when it went to the cutscene. So I'm going to show you step by step how exactly. To do it. OK, so let me go ahead and minimize these while they play. So uh, I use LD player pretty much be doing the same thing with. Uh, with blue stacks or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you. This is the LD player uh multi instance manager. As you see, I already have a whole bunch of instances set up. <clears throat> so all you would do is go to new and then new player. It's gonna go ahead and create a new player for you. Once when it's done, as you see it popped up. We're going to go to settings, make sure that it's set to two cores. Uh, I set it for the smaller resolution so I can fit more of them on my screen. Uh, then you go to basic, make sure root is turned off, save, and you're done. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and open a few of these. There goes one. And here goes two. So these are going to go ahead and open up down here. They'll open eventually. Now, if you want to know why I use LD player is because it uses far less resources than any other emulator out there. Um, I tried doing four instances of Bluestacks on my computer and it completely bogged my uh, RAM and CPU. So this is a lot i mean it uses probably 30 percent of the resources that nox does i have a pretty beefy system too so it's not like i'm using a shitty system or anything like that um next we're going to need to make sure that we have the apk here for overhead i'm going to put the link in the description so you're going to move it and then you're going to drop it, move and drop into both. You're going to get a pop up that says that uh, it's been successfully resolved and then it's going to say that it's installing it. And then this will happen. <clears throat> It'll pop up saying, hey, the app was successfully installed. Hit start. So hit start. Now we're going to wait for it to open. It's gone. There we go. I'm going to turn the volume up down. All right. So that's it. It's going to pop up saying that you need to do downloads. And hit yes. And it's going to start installing the information. Uh, at that point, you just go ahead, let it install. Once when it gets done installing, 
Uh, you'll come up on the screen where it's at the home screen. You're going to hit guest and then continue. And then once when you do that, it's probably going to try to sign into Google. Once when it does that, simply just hit the home button and then go to overhead again. And then it'll say you need to sign into Google in order to make purchases. You just tap to enter and then you can play the game. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, if you find something that you want to keep, just simply change the name of the uh, player so that you know what's on there and then just open a new one so that you can re-roll again. Uh, otherwise, if it's stuff that you don't want to keep, you could just delete. You could just delete the account and then start over. So you don't have to do the whole thing of creating a new instance and anything. So to recap, create new instance, open instance, install APK, run APK, allow it to download. Once when it starts, click to start. I love my nephew. Click to start, click guest, click continue. Google prompt will open. Hit home, open the app again, tap to start. It'll give you the prompt saying that you need to be uh, signed into Google in order to make purchases, and then you can play the game. That's it. Uh, go in and uh, do synchronization if you want, or you can just play them individually, however you want to do it. Hopefully this helps you in trying to re-roll for your optimal account. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll answer them when I see them. And good luck, everyone. Take care now. Bye.